in. However, they're oh, slowly coming back in. And it's a oh. beat, and then it's double kick, and it just kind of. Oh. Ow! <laughs> the focus! What if, you, what if you broke the vinyl? I would not break the vinyl. <laughs> Excuse for here with Adam and Brent. Your intros are I, so awkward. I know, because I don't have a better intro to do. Edu. Like, all you do is... Goose 4. It's Goose 4. Goose 4. Okay, okay we're doing... Worst the best, we're doing... Neighborhoods, which was suggested by Idiot 2.0. Yes. And people are, are probably like... Mm -hmm. I, I never heard of this Blink-182. do not like this album. You don't. I, I re -listen, in re-listening to it, I discovered that I don't like it that much. Like, it has not aged well for me at all. <laughs> Number 14, Fighting the Gravity. That's mine. Really? Holy shit. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. That one, I don't think it deserves it bores, 14. It bores me. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I just don't like that song. <laughs> Very it's slow. It's too slow to my liking. It's just not blink. I think a lot of the songs it's, on this album have that problem. It, this song kind of sounds like Mark doing Angels and Airwaves. Yeah. My number 14 is Hearts All Gone Interlude. Okay. It's just, it's an Angels and Airwaves, like, instrumental B-side. Yeah. That's all it is to me. It feels like a track that Tom already had for Angels and Airwaves and was like, well, I'm not going to use this on any of our albums, so I'll just put it on this album as, like, a little thing to what go on. What if he threw it in there and didn't tell anyone? <laughs> and then it just well, happened. Well, I mean, that way. he didn't put it on the original album. Yeah. I, I think the original album is better for not having that on there. Yeah. Uh, my number 13 is Natives. Really? Yeah. 13? Yeah. I don't know about 13. There's no reaction. I mean, oh, okay, now that's kind of like my. It's like in the middle of my list. Like, I can understand why you don't like it. It sounds. It's, too, it's towards it, the middle. It line. sounds too, like. That's interesting. Sounds, I thought you would like that. It, no, it, it sounds like they're trying to go like sound like almost Eminem's. It reminds me of Eminem's the way it's played. I just guess. A, just a little the guitar kind of, part. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's too twangy. See, I can I can see why you don't like it. It sounds like they try. See, I would have thought you would have liked it tried because the, of the riff. Not really. Because, because it sounded so similar to Eminem's. I like, think I like, like Mark's, only three I like Mark's songs voice. I like, like really, guys, that if you'd have at the bottom of your list, but, but other than Tom's that. voice kind of just comes in out of nowhere too in it, and it sounds it's oh, not, yeah. it doesn't sound good, right? Yeah, he's like, I'm a bastard child to let it go to your head. That's Mark, I think. That's Mark. Yeah, but Tom's she voice. She sings so, in the background. Yeah. See, I, it's I like, like it. it's like off in the background, kind of mm -hmm. like feeling this is off in the background when he sings it. Yes. That part, but yeah. it's like. Not mm. good. Yeah. My number 13 is Snake Charmer. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, can... I completely forgot that this song was even on the album. I'm not shitting you. The first time, like, I remember buying this. I remember knowing every single song. Even the interlude. I remember knowing. I'm like, oh. And I remember one time I played Snake Charmer. Didn't know what it was. Like, I had never, I, I thought I had never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just an a, an extra, extra song that I just never got for yeah. whatever reason. Completely forgettable for me. The bass line sounds cool. Like, mm -hmm. doo -doo 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 that's like the only part that I really like. Mm -hmm. I think Tom's voice does not sound good in this <laughs> song. It, and the lyrics are pretty dumb. Yeah. Like, like fire through the, the snow. So I was like a spider. It's one too deep inside her. Yeah. I'm just, every time that comes on, I'm like, oh, now I see why I forgot about it. <laughs> Skip it. My number 13 is Hearts All Gone. Hearts All Gone, like, 13? not the, wait, yeah, the wait, actual yeah. song. I actually like the interlude better. You like the <laughs> interlude better than the actual <laughs> song? I completely disagree with that. Um, wow. I mean, Ew. I think the drums are Ew. really good. Saying, in like, Hearts the all gone. All other than that, I just thought it was. Syndrome. I do like it. I do like that interlude. Oh, do you like it more than the song? Not more than the song. And so it, like, it's like, what but you yeah. But like, I don't know. I just, I don't, I just don't like that song. Can you explain it's, why? Like, it's why? like one of the songs I just kind of like forget on the album, and I forget it's even there, and I actually skip it most of the time. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Um, <laughs> I, I know the. Dun, 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 like the, the whole drum solo. Dun, that was cool. Yeah. But I mean, other than that, like, I thought it just sounded very, you know. Just yeah, it's you. My number 12 is The Hearts All Gone Here Loop. Okay. So, that's my I do. number 12. 
He couldn't have flipped it. Uh, I know. <laughs> I mean, I like the inner. I like. Okay, so I do like the interlude. Like, I don't sure. like. I just I like, like how it, it yeah. trails in to our hearts all gone. Yeah, I'll I mean, say it doesn't. I, it doesn't sound bad. No. but I don't think it should have been on the album. No, because that's I, my thing. Like, just like I said, I it's thought there was more. Song. I thought there was more to it. I didn't realize it was just so instrumental. Yeah, but it's nice. It's like calming. Yeah, it's an, actually. What does it come after? It comes after. It comes after Snake Charmer. So it is like it kind of just calms down it's from not, Snake Charmer. Yeah. And then it goes. Does Snake Charmer go actually in, into that one? I don't. I don't know. If I remember, because I, I don't. I don't see the deluxe. I can't the remember. thing about it just sounds like it doesn't even sound like an Angels and Airwaves song. It, it just, sounds like a song that would be on demos, odds and ends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that one song that was on it. Landscapes. I, landscapes. It sounds exactly like Landscapes to me, and it just mm. forgettable. My number twelve is up all night. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! No, no, oh I, it's gosh. no. It totally surprised me too. I'm not kidding. It's just I listened to it and I just the chorus didn't grab me at all. It's just not catchy. The entire song is not catchy. I think the riff is super weak. Uh, yeah, the main riff isn't that good. The chorus isn't that catchy. Mar Mark and Tom trading vocals was cool. A cool idea, but. Again, it comes down to the delivery. Like, there's no passion in the vocals. They keep me up all night. And, again, the riff... Da -da 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 -da, and the part where it fades out and then comes back in, it just feels like there's a lot that could have been trimmed out of that song. I don't know. I think the main riff was not good at all, though. Uh, my number 11 is This Is Home. That's mine. What the <laughs> hell, man? Is that mine? Hold on. Number 11? This is like yeah. really no. weird. Oh. We're like yeah. agreeing. You were right. I was totally right. Yeah. I think it's kind of. I, I figured because. It's, it's. I think this is one of the weaker songs. I completely agree. This is home? Yeah. Like the riff just sounds kind of weak, the guitar. See? It has that synth in the background. Oh. Tom's voice annoys the shit out of me in this song. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. And then Earth Earth can save, save the day away. We're awake in perfect harmony. We fucking fight a bang up on. Yeah. We dance like, like fucking animals. <laughs> when he says family, it sounds like he says family. Yeah. I don't know. His voice just is. It's not good in that song. For, on this good. album, this is the song I think his vocals are the worst on. Yeah, I agree. This, this song. That song specifically? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know about that. My number 11 is Fighting the Gravity. I didn't okay. hate it as much as you guys, mm -hmm. but I, I I just like the kind of spacey sound it has in the very beginning, mm -hmm. where it's just the like the bass and the drums. I like the an intro, pretty mm -hmm. much. But you're right, past that, it gets boring. Like, it's really a boring song. It's not... Yeah. It's not bad, and I don't mind listening to it, but... I could take it or leave it. Yeah. Number 10. Uh, Hearts All Gone. Okay. I'm not... I was never really... I was honestly never a really big fan of the song. Okay. Like, I like it. I just think it's... I think it's a little too high for Mark. He sings it well. Natives? Hearts All Gone. Hearts All Gone. It's just... It's a little high. I think it's just high to my life. Maybe his voice... Maybe just being high sounds like he's almost Especially in the it. verses. Da -da -da -da. Especially even in the oh, chorus, man. your heart's all gone. Like yeah. it's so high. Yeah. And then Tom just kind of chimes in here and there, but mm -hmm. I do like the middle part with the bass. The do 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 do. Yes, he had that, and it, 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 it just jumps right back. Yeah. In. Number ten. My number ten is. Natives. Okay. See, I thought I actually didn't mind the riff as much as you did, but past that, it, like I mentioned earlier, the, the vocals are just so. It's like he's just going through the motions. It's like. I feel so, like that's the case throughout the whole album. Yeah, I mean that's it's just like, like a theme for this entire album. It's like, oh, we're back together, but we still hate each other. Yeah. You know, and Tom. it's just. <laughs> Everyone Mark just hates sounds Tom. so, like. He sounds so passionless in the chorus. Let me go, go, so let me go, go. It's like, I don't know. It just didn't make me feel anything. It's just, yeah. I don't know. 
My number 10 is Love is Dangerous. Mm. Love is Dangerous, okay. Um, as I said, I don't think it's one of Tom's strongest vocal songs. He just goes, Love is Dangerous. <laughs> it's just like, uh, it's okay. But I do like the part when Mark goes, we all pretend to fuck. Like, I like that. Yeah, he says we all pretend to fuck in the yeah. background. <laughs> Oh life's yeah. Cool, or light was it life's fun so we all pretend to... Life's cruel so we all pretend to fuck. Love. <laughs> love. Love. Love is dangerous. I, well, I think other than that right there. Yeah. Like it's I other than that, I think it's okay. Like not again, not one of blank stronger songs. Yeah. My number nine is Love is Dangerous. Okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's again it's that it's that part with Mark that I like. I kinda like Mark in the background more than like Tom being lead on it. Tom in the background doesn't usually work. No. He's, he's trying work. to hit really high yeah. notes in the background and doesn't Or work. trying to harmonize. And no, I think it was good in filling this though. E. Really? E. Feeling this is like my favorite blink really song. In the background, though, was no. Oh when you mean when I'm sure I'm feeling you just talk about the very end. Oh, yeah. When they're all singing, like... Oh, in different parts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I thought that was really so good. So lost in disillusion. I think... Okay, so I'm used to this being the last song because I have I don't have the deluxe edition. Like, okay, I have it here, but I don't have it, like, on my iPod. <laughs> okay, really? I don't have the CD. And I bought the CD... The album feels as, so short without the only bonus tracks. So yeah. It is. It's, like, but 36 like, minutes. It, it, it's a nice ending if without the deluxe edition. Mmm. But it seems really, it seems like too slow for an ending song, too. Uh, yeah. It's its more of like, it sounds like a calming song, but it kind of isn't that good. My number nine is Ghost on the Dance Floor. What? Yeah. What? Oh. See, Ghost on the Dance Floor, I used to like it a lot. Mm-hmm. But, um, it, like, it was one of my favorite songs in the album. But it's just like a faster Angels and Airwaves song. I can with, see it with yeah. more guitar and less synth. That, not, that, not that that's a bad thing. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's mostly it's the extended intro to <coughs> the drumming and stuff that makes yeah. me think of that. Mm -hmm. Again, it's not a bad song. I don't think it's just kind of middle of the road for me. Yeah, my number nine is After Midnight. Hmm, <laughs> that low. I was expecting that way higher. For yeah, um, jeez. I I like the drum drumming. Um, and I like, uh, the chorus is pretty good. Um, I think the guitar, uh, the guitar riff is pretty good. I just think it's... So you said the guitarist. Guitar riff. Um, yeah. but I don't know, like, I just think Jared overplayed it, to be completely honest. He, like... <laughs> That's why he doesn't like it, because Jared overplayed That's it? That's a stupid reason. He, he did, like... Eight. Eight. Supply scope. It's a weird. I, it's the weird intro though. Isn't. Dun, 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 yeah. I like how the drums come into the. Mmm. I actually disagree. I'll talk about that more. But. And then um, Mark's vocals sound good, but I feel like Mark should have sang more in the song than Tom. Cause Mark only sang like one verse, I think. In Kaleidoscope. Two verses maybe, but Tom sang. Three he sang the choruses, yeah. Tom sang the choruses. Mark didn't sing. Mark should have sang more than Tom, I think. You think? And Tom's voice is just kind of weird in it. Mm. First time that I worry of a bad dream, a of a journey from the highway. When he says valley, it sounds like he says to the valley. Yep. My number eight is Hearts All Gone. Mm. See, I, I agree with you in that, like, it sounds like he's straining himself mark sounds like he's straining himself yeah. too much but at the same time i think that actually works for the song especially in the chorus because it actually makes it sound like he gives a shit about what he's singing like yeah. he has to put effort into singing it yeah the chorus is actually pretty catchy for a song on this album but on the whole it's just other than the chorus i don't think the song is that good uh my number eight is snake charmer I thought said Sneak Charmer. This is Sneak Charmer. Sneak Charmer. I kind I like the I like the tune of it. It's catchy. Um, I mean, I think the lyrics are kind of weird, especially for like a Blink One Eighty Two song. But um, I kind of like you know. Uh, I don't know if he does like a, like kind of like harmonics, but it goes dun 
Dun, dun. Does he use like a I synth? have no idea what you're talking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes. My son's snake, snake drummer. <laughs> I actually really like how he sings it. I do too, yeah. The uh, words obviously don't make much sense. I think Tom probably got a hold of the tracks and put all these synths well, and stuff in the Well, isn't the producer did, they did, Angels and Airwaves on this? Didn't I, he do this? I thought they did on the... They, they didn't have a record label, did they? Produced they, by Blink-182. Tom... My number seven is Love is Dangerous. I think it's very easy to make fun of <laughs> because of <laughs> Tom. Love is, is dangerous. dangerous. Like he makes dangerous, which is three syllables, have four syllables. Love is dangerous. I, I think that it's kind of a weaker song to go out on, mainly because of how slow it is. Yeah. And I, I mean, I guess slow songs can work. As final songs, but the ending, this one didn't. The ending when it fades out is too much like Angels and Airwaves. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my number seven is Natives. <laughs> That's higher than I thought. Yeah. Um, I actually do like the intro. Um, kind of reminds me of Thunderstruck by ACDC. Yep. Yeah. I can see it. I do like the verse and I like the chorus. Um, I like the I'm just a faster child, don't let it go to your I'm head. just a what? I'm just a faster child, don't let it Faster? Get you. No, it's not faster. Faster, Adam? I'm just a... I'm just a bastard child. Oh, shit. <laughs> just a bastard child, don't let it go. Give me your head. head. Number six. Six. Let's go to the dance floor. Okay. Really? Okay. That's slow. I thought you were gonna... Well, we know which number one is Adam. <laughs> we know which one is I'll, number I, one for I think Adam. it's a good starter for the album, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because it kind of fades in. Yeah. In the beginning. I like the guitar riff. Um, the chorus is a little weird though. Saw your ghost tonight. tonight. <laughs> it fucking hurt <laughs> like hell. My number six is This Is Home. Really? The riff is not super memorable, but it isn't bad. Mm -hmm. The, I for, I, how does it go again? We work and slave the day. Not the, the fucking oh. lyrics, the riff. Yeah, yeah. We all were humming different okay, things, gotcha. but yeah. I used to always get this in natives mixed up. It, it, it's not bad. It's just the synths are a bit too much, I think. Yeah. And they make it sound like a Bruce Springsteen song from the 80s. That's all I can think <laughs> yeah, of when it when I can it see it now, like, yeah. wow, 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 wow. It's like the super cheesy, like, 80s. Number six is MH418 2011. Wow, what a shock. I didn't uh, expect that. <laughs> Um, I really like the song. I really like it when Mark comes in and he goes, uh, coming in, coming in, killer radio, silence. That's where he's talking about the words are. Yep. Um, uh, I like, uh, I like chorus. I think it sounds good. Got to hold on. The worst is yet to come. I, I actually like the, um, guitar tone in the song. I think it sounds really good, too. I think it's a good song. My number five is After Midnight. Five? Wow, jeez. I think Tom does sing the vo the verses pretty well, mm -hmm. and Mark sings the choruses pretty well. I do like the middle part. I think it's a, it's a good song. Like it's it falls together perfectly. Not perfectly, but it falls together pretty well. My number five is Kaleidoscope. That's my number five. Okay. I think that Travis's beat does not fit with the song. He overplays. Oh, it's the actual like it's the, this is a problem with song. Travis Barker. Like he's super good. Mm. Don't get me wrong. But I just wish that he would fit his beats more to the feel of the song. Yeah. Like the intro of Kaleidoscope is do 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 do. Just so you think it would be something more simpler, but instead he's just and he's just all over the place immediately. And I just wish, like it sounds best when Mark is singing in the verses and he said, like when he, I think when he starts singing, delete the progress from your game or something. Mm -hmm. When delete it's just. The progress from your game. And it's just super simple. Yeah. I think it works the best there with the riff. It did fit. Um, my number five is Kaleidoscope. Um, no. I think it's a good song. I actually completely disagree. I love Travis Barker's drumming. I understand. I'm not saying I don't <laughs> like it. I'm just saying it's he overplayed. overplays it. He I mean, overplays. I can understand, but I mean, I mean, I just think that's just who he is. Like, I just think that's just part of his style. Okay. Has that, you know. I'm not actually. saying that he can't play complicated stuff. What I'm saying is I wish he would play stuff that would fit the song more than just playing a Everything. bunch of stuff. 
See, I don't know. I actually really like that. I like the drum intro. I like the. Um, you know, I like the it drum. too, but I it I I would like it more if it were simpler, is what I'm saying. I think if he did it, maybe like the first two me- two parts that when the drums come in for the two measures. Yeah. Before the verse. Yeah. If he if he did that that. Th- 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 yeah. For two measures, and then went into a beat, it might have been a little. It, yeah. It was kind of a little better, cause, but dragging it through the whole verse didn't really work. Because or half the verse didn't work. Because the guitar sets up this expectation that it's good. It's just super simple, a super simple rhythm. Yeah. And Travis kind of breaks that by overplaying. Yeah. Uh, for Wishing Well. Really? Okay. Really? <laughs> I think it's a, it's put together, again, like, After Midnight's put together well. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like the, I think it's kind of funny how we sing the... One of my favorite songs on the album. My number four is Even If She Falls. I thought that was going to be significantly lower for you. Same. See, actually. I I was listening to it, and I actually think it has one of the catchier choruses on the whole album. Back, you want to turn back, your heart will attack even if she falls in love. Like, like, the lyrics are super, like, cutesy Mm -hmm. and sugar, like, almost too much. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it kind of clashes with everything else on the album. But I think it's actually a way better song to end the album on than Love is Dangerous. I completely agree. Because mm-hmm. it, it, it's way more... It has a good pace to it. It has a better pace to it than Love is Dangerous, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And the lyrics, it sounds more hopeful. It's, it's just pretty, a good note to end it It sounds on. pretty simplicit, too. My number four is Up All Night. No. <laughs> this is pretty, yeah, hmm. pretty okay. I actually really like the riff. I really like it. It reminds it reminds me kind of like a slash type riff from Guns N' Roses. Oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> like I like that. Like I think it's different. I think it, the rhythm is a little, a little bit different. It, it just it's not. Now, I like it when he catchy. comes in it with the octaves. Like it goes. Da-da-da-da-da. I like it when Mark comes in and starts singing, and then it goes and it, he switches to. No way, it goes from Tom, Tom first. Then Mark. Tom then Mark. Yeah. I like it when Tom just comes in, then Mark just comes in uh, with it. And I like the synth in the background. See, I think that sounds really good. My number three is even if she falls. Okay. I, really? I thought that would this. Be I think this is where Tom has one of the best vocal. Performances, I'd say so. Yeah, because in the verse, especially in the chorus, the first verse and first chorus, it sang lower, and he sounds really good. Mm-hmm. See, so he's he- not whiny or nasally, but then the second time he sings a little higher, but it's still not bad. Mm-hmm. I think he sounds more passionate in that song though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he definitely does. For the riff, da, 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 da. it almost it's very similar to uh, Dysentery Gary, but not as fast. Yeah, not I never as thought about not that. as not as fast and punchy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's more smooth. I can see that. My number three is Wishing Well. Okay. And, flopped. yeah, um, I thought the guitar riff wasn't super memorable. The I, I didn't think that was, I liked it, but I didn't think it was super memorable. I, I actually liked the lyrics to this a lot. Like, it's very, it uses a lot of interesting imagery. Mm-hmm. I thought, like, the chorus. The chorus, especially, like, um... My number three is Ghosts on the Dance Floor. That's pretty high, man. Mm-hmm. I, re- I actually really like this song. I, lo- cool, I love the guitar riff. Song. I love the guitar of that. I really, really like that guitar riff. That's actually one of my really? favorite mm-hmm. guitarists that that uh, Tom actually wrote. Um, I actually I disagree with, I think, Gus who said this. I think... The chorus is really strong. I think that's definitely one of the strongest choruses on the album. They have good harmony, but it, like it's kind of like the song starts off it's really not strong, and, but it, it, like, and it gets real slow. Like, I, see, I don't, I, I don't like know. The chorus I told you, did I tell you that Jeremiah and I were playing, making a music video to this? Yeah, yeah. it was weird. Two, two, uh, up all night. Really, way higher than I think it should. It's one be. of my favorite songs. It is uh, another one of my really favorite songs, but it's also the. How it's played, riff-wise, reminds me of something from uh, the self-titled. I could see, see that, that but... <laughs> the, how it's distorted and how yeah. it's played reminds me of, like, 
I don't want to say Stockholm Syndrome, but it kind of... I, yeah, like yeah. I do like the synths in the background. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey. Count okay, at the very end when the riff's coming back through. Everyone and then wants the to drums kick it. in. All around the, all life the, with a better hand. Name. Name. Hand? Life with a better name. <laughs> How does that even sound like hand? <laughs> Life with a better hand. <laughs> hand. <laughs> Anyway. But uh, I like how when the drums come back in at the end, how they're oh, slowly boy. coming back in, and it's a oh. beat, and then it's a double kick, and it just kind of... Oh. Ow! <laughs> the focus! <laughs> what, if you, what if you broke the vinyl? I would not break the vinyl. <laughs> that wouldn't the, break the vinyl. The... I like yeah, I, I, yeah, my number two is image 418 2000. Really? Yeah. Thought you thought it'd be my number one? Yeah. I talk yeah. about it a lot. I like it a yeah. lot. But, um... I, I think it just has a good pace. Mm -hmm. I like the the stops and starts before the first verse. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah. Coming in, coming, coming in. in. Da, 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 da. And the, I think, I actually don't like the choruses as much as the verses. Okay. The choruses sound super auto-tuned. You know what I mean? Hold oh. on. Like, yeah. it just obviously sounds like he pitch corrected a lot of them. Because oh, did you hear the demo version of it? Yes. He's screaming He was it? screaming it, and he was just laughing his ass off at how bad it was. That's probably He probably used that track and yeah. corrected it. Yeah. I think the verses sound great. I think that Mark's cadence, the way he sings the words, mm -hmm. sounds really good. Like Adam mentioned it, I think. Coming in, coming in, kill the radio silence. Break down in L.A. Giving up, giving in, like just the little things he does with his voice in the verses. So I like a lot. Living yeah. with a match up. I like it, yeah. I like that part too. It's a good song. My number two is Wishing Well. Wishing Well. That's pretty well. high. Well, I think it's I think it honestly like friend. the catchiest song on the album. Really? I do, yeah. I like, I just, I love the chorus. I think that's a really strong chorus. I love well, the guitar riff. That. I love the guitar <laughs> riff. That. It kind of reminds me of like feeling this. I could see it. Yeah. I could see it, but yeah. it's just done. Like, vaguely, yeah. The first, like, three notes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I do like the lyrics of the song. Um, I like it when it goes, I got caught like a little kid stealing. Yeah. They were saying too loud. A bit hard or a little misleading. You know what, da, 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 da. I did even say my favorite line of the song. What is it? Um, I'm a little bit shy, but strange, a little bit manic. A little bit, a bit manic. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like the way he's saying I like manic. the line. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, number one. You're number one. MH418. That's your number one. <laughs> wow. wow, I it's didn't a expect great song. that. Yeah. It's a great song. Yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a good song. Okay. It's a great song. Okay. That's, That's all you need to say. Oh. Number one is After Midnight. I had a feeling since, yeah. <laughs> since MH418 wasn't... Oh, no, his was before. Um, I think that this song is the catchiest one on the album. I don't know why, but it's just, it's one of the few with real passion to it and flow. Because I said this like way in the beginning, but this was one of the songs that they actually wrote together. This is like the they wrote together? it in a room together and you can tell because they play off of each other. And it's simpler, and that simplicity works out for the better, in my opinion. Yeah. Because when they're just sending tracks to each other, Tom is just adding all this bullshit to the <laughs> to it, and it sounds super. It sounds too much. But after midnight keeps it super simple. It's only what three or four chords. That's it, and it's just. Da -da, da -da. What was yours? Wait, did you just say it? <laughs> yes, I just said my number one. Oh yeah, they're okay. My number one is Even If She Falls. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I can see that. So. Uh, I can see that. You know. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think that is... Back, you wanna back. I think that, that's like my second favorite Bling song, to be honest. Um, it was one of the Your first... Your second favorite? Jeez. Yeah, I love that song. Um, it reminded me of a girl. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just, I like... I, I, I like sappy shit like that. Did I don't know. Part? What? No! <laughs> I really like the uh, riff that. It does kind of sound like Dysentery Gary. But um, I really like the chorus and the intro. Um, 
I like the back, you want to turn back, her will attack even if she falls in love. And, uh, and it isn't so bad, it's driving you mad even if she Because, like, no, that song reminds me, like, of how, like, how much girl wanted to propose driving... to her during lunch. No, how you know, much, like, it just drives me crazy. So next week we are going to do uh, Futures by Jimmy Eat World. Take 182. Shut up. <laughs> Get it? We, um... Idiot 2.0 again. So this is the last one of his... Our biggest fan. Of his uh, suggestions, and then we're going to go back into our lineup of... Gus's father. <laughs> just commenting. <laughs> yeah. Gus. Yeah, so okay. Dimitri. He's giving us support. Oh my god, if it was Dimitri. No, if it was like, Dimitri... Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, All do right, that. Cool. If it was Dimitri, he'd be suggesting Breaking Benjamin. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, do that. Do what, she, do what she said, and... We'll do. do as I said! Do what hey. Who gives a shit. Yeah. Who anyway. watches this channel? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, because we're all losers. Shut up, Adam. Bye. Bye. Bye.